Hello, and thanks for checking out another episode of Inventor's Quick Tips. Today I'm going to be talking about a book. Now first things first, I am not being sponsored by this publisher, and I don't get any kickbacks or royalties on the sale of this book. So that said, I wanted to bring this book up for the following reasons. Now there are numerous books out there that discuss patents and inventions and preparing a patent. However, you typically won't see this particular book on the shelves at Barnes and Noble. And the reason being is that this book is published through a law publisher and the intended audience is a novice patent attorney, e.g. somebody straight out of law school with little or no hands-on patent preparation experience. Now although this is a law book, it is written using straightforward examples, and I think that inventors who have an interest in what really goes on in writing a patent application may find it interesting. There are several simple inventions that are discussed in the book, such as the lowly paper clip, the chair, and the sliding window, and using those as examples to illustrate key concepts in what makes a patent application a well-written patent application. As I've said in other videos, knowing the rules of how a patent application is formatted is important. But just because a patent application is formatted properly does not mean it's well written. This book talks about what goes into a well written patent application. So for those out there who are looking to get just a little bit deeper into what patents are all about, I recommend this book. Now law books are typically pricey. You could see this one going for nearly $50 on Amazon. However, if you check out the used books, you, c you see that you can get it used for under $30. And for the purposes of learning the basics, the old edition should be fine. And if uh, you happen to be a newly minted patent attorney or patent agent yourself, then I would highly recommend this book for you. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thanks again for watching Inventor's Quick Tips, and we'll see you again soon.